Hello everybody and welcome once again to Surviving with Blood Magic. This episode we're going to start with Blood Arsenal. Now Blood Arsenal is an add-on to Blood Magic and it's got some quite neat, nice stuff and some very very expensive stuff. So let's get started. Now here's what we've got in the mod. So we've basically got refined blood essence or life essence, blank slate blocks and all these blank slate blocks are as slates in a well, just compressed slates, really, I suppose. And you've got the different types of slates, from reinforced up to ethereal, I guess. That's the last one of those. And then you've got infused blood, where you put blood um, wood into an altar and you get some infused blood out of it. So, oh, look, actually, I've got an altar here. I think it's almost got 10,000 in it. Let's have a quick look. I should have my sigil here. 9,000. Yeah, exactly. What happened here is... Um, I filled up the altar completely because I wanted to do a test. We'll do the test in a minute. So while that's while that's test is doing, let's just get some wood out of here. Three, four pieces. It'll do four pieces of wood, won't it? So let's get four out of here. I'm going to get six out because what I want to do is also make a hop and we'll put four in and let, let those process while I'm thinking about... Uh, while I'm talking about doing other bits and pieces. A hopper. I don't know whether I've got enough bits for a hopper. Well, I need some iron. I should have iron in this in here yes I've got actually not very much but I've got enough for the time being so make a quick hopper so I need two of those one chest and then one Y of that will give me a hopper so we'll just put the hopper on the side of this and we'll fill it in with four pieces of wood like this so they should basically get transferred across and this will process this into oh hold on a second now i messed up maybe i have messed up do we need a tier two altar we do need a tier two altar all right we'll forget that all this will do nine pieces of stone <laughs> i've got any stone in here that wasn't uh nope I must have some stone somewhere. Oh, yes, we have. Nine pieces of stone. We'll do that list. That'll then basically give us nine slates, which is fine. And they should start to process, as you can see. Good. So, what I want to do is just test the next things along. So, we're going to have a look. Obviously, these are just wooden planks from that. And then you've got some blood stained glass, which is basically just a piece of glass around a orb of some description and we'll get a bloodstained glass and you could put eight round it, you get eight, fine. And then you've got stained plates. They don't actually have any uses those don't, but um the the glass itself I think does have some uses, yes it does. So you can make a status plate for example for doing this. Um and some blood stained glass. Planes, yeah basically it's not very much there you've got What's this one? A blood capacitor from Blood Arsenal. Which I guess is a way of storing blood. Interesting. I haven't played with that one yet. So anyway, let's carry on. So then you come to a, a blood torch. I can't find any recipes for that. I can't find how to make it either. And then you've got these blood-infused iron. Now that's basically ingots of blood-infused iron, which you're making in a blood altar f with... Tier 3 with 5,000 LP using an inert um, an inert blood ingot which is made from blood infused glowstone, binding reagent, iron ingots and life blight essence. Not exactly straightforward is it? And you've got a tier 3 here to make some glowstone dust. So you can't make any of this until you've reached tier 3 anyway. And these are basically giving you weapons so the, and tools. So, for example, here is a blood-infused stone. Now, that's actually not a uh, blood-infused sword, wooden sword. That's actually not too bad. That's five attacker damage. Let's have a look at wooden sword. Um, have a look at all swords, actually. A wooden sword's got four, so it goes up by one. And the next one along here will be a blood-infused wooden sword and iron sword so that's got 6.7 that's almost as good as a diamond sword and here it's got six so it goes up a bit um where do we show we carry on actually then we've got 
these different type status plates which are basically made from blood infused iron with some status plates which are basically made with some lightning reagent now this lightning reagent is going to be tough to make not only is it tough it's also expensive so you basically got to find a water source, place a water source block in the world and drop some binding reagent a close a block of a uh, close term block a block of gold a block of iron um, redstone a block of iron and gunpowder in the water and then you've got to hit this water block with all the items in it with lightning now <laughs> how do you do that i haven't figured out that to be honest with you well not in a non-gt way um so i guess you're basically going to put down a whole load of those things and summon some thunderstorms if it actually works i'll have a look at that doing that i'll have a look at ways that don't work and then We'll carry on past these. We've basically got blood combustion and blood diamonds. We'll forget the blood diamonds for now. We'll have a look at the glass shard here. So, so you basically craft an item hitting a, um, glass with a flint. Now, it's not too difficult to do. Oh, yeah, these are basically empty now, which is great. So in here, I have actually got some stuff prepared. I've actually got 18 glass shards. But let's just show you how we do with this. Dead easy, as it happens. No damage to the... Um, oh, I need that. Let's put that there to do with the glass nothing okay so you can put this down like that then you can just left click it and it breaks into some shards normally you get one shard and sometimes you get two as we just have done uh, into that like that and then what you do with these is you've got these you can make these here glass shards put nine together and you get a glass shard um, what I would need would be 27. Let's just break these up and get 27. If I need more glass, I need more glass, and that's it. See, so as you can see, this time I think I've got about five, maybe six in total. So that gives me, then we have 26. We just need one more. I got two more, of course. I did get two more. <laughs> so we need 27 of these. The reason I want 27 is basically because I need three times this. Let's put those away. So we can then craft these into a into some glass shards. Let's just do one of these. And you see, I didn't I haven't done this before. What you can do with these, you can put these down on something or other. So, <laughs> oops. So, if you walk over these things, you get hurt, and actually, quite a lot hurt by the looks of it. <laughs> and it carries on afterwards. I wonder how long that lasts for. Okay. <laughs> so, those are quite effective. I don't, know, I don't know whether you can pick them up afterwards. Let's just try my sub to pick on this. Maybe you can. No. I actually have got. 14. I think I didn't get any of those back. <laughs> anyway, that's what those are for. So the next thing along there is to use the glass as well. Now we can use the glass on two different tools. So we've got the glass sacrificial dagger here, which is basically seven pieces of uh, glass shards around a, a sacrificial dagger with a, an orb in there. I think it has to be apprentice blood orb and higher. The weak blood orb won't do. And You've got the Dagger of Sacrifice, which is basically a dagger with that. So we'll make one of those up quickly. Uh, I think it's probably not worth doing anything except for the um, self-sacrifice dagger. Even though I probably might have got it prepared here. So we've got two of these things here like that. So I'm going to just craft up the other one into the Glass Sacrificial Dagger. And then we can compare. What I would like to do is to compare these two. That was why I emptied out the altar, but not completely emptied out the altar. So first of all, let's have a look. Let's check there should be nothing in it. My first sense, but you can see on here there's nothing of 10,000 in here. So let's do a normal cut. Oops, <laughs> try again. Without, I, I forgot, I've got to be off the thing. Like that. 
and it's put some blood in here. How much blood has it put? 229. Let's just get rid of that blood as it happens. I would probably need another piece of stone. No, it's down, it's down the low one, isn't it? 229 for one normal um, sacrificial dagger. We're going to get to get rid of the blood out of this so we can... There we go. I think it's now empty. I'll just double check it. Yes. So now let's try this with a sacrificial dagger. Or a glass sacrificial dagger. A much harder hit, as you can see from my damage. But we also got 575 um, blood in there. So it's almost doubled the amount of blood from the... Well, yeah. 229 times 2. Actually, it's more. That was 460, wasn't it? So it's more than doubled the blood in there. And it's the same is true for the sacrificial dagger as well. So this one here, the dagger of sacrifice, the glass version of that is also gives you more um, blood per hit. So that's quite useful, early game stuff. Then it's got some more bits and pieces we can do early-ish games. So let's have a look at that. Oranges. <laughs> let's do a blood orange. So we need 500 LP. We've got 575 in there. So maybe, I'm not sure I've got any dye in there. Oh yes, I have a look. We've got, we've got red and we've got yellow and that'll make orange. So let's push one of those into the altar. Like that. And then we can put the other one of these away, I think. Oh, it's wrong one. No, I can't. No space in that chest. Is that working? Oh, does that have to be a tier 2 altar? Let me double check that. I didn't actually check it. Tier 2, of course. It has to be tier 2. <laughs> but if you look at this one here, you'll see the saturation is um, one, two, three, four. I think that's about eight bars of saturation. We can go and do those down downstairs when we have to go and do some more, or across the way when we have to do some more of those activities, so to speak. So let's just um, clear out my inventory a bit now. Um, I can put those into here. I don't need this one for the time being. I don't need th th that. I've got some iron in here. Right, next thing that we can do fairly early on is we can make the wooden tools. Actually, yes, that's tier two, isn't it? So wooden axes and things like that. So that's uh, an eight damage, 1.2 attack speed. Same for this one. Actually, this is a lot more. So here's the recipe for wood infused axe. So it's three sets of planks and one stick. Now. Normally you'd have three sets of planks, one, two sticks, wouldn't you? Well, actually that's not too bad because the recipe for a stick is you only get two from two blood-infused planks, so you get two sticks like that. And you can do things like have a, a warp blade, and I think that's one of these bound stick. I'm not sure what a bound stick does, <laughs> but you can do a bound stick. So let's make some and see what it does because I have absolutely no idea. If it's that, you get any use whatsoever. I made some blood infused wood before, so that's no big deal. Let's just craft that out of here like this. And then we can take half of those. Actually, I would need to make some sticks. So let's get some. In here, I've got some. Um, which one is it? This one. Yes, I've got some binding reagent. And in the chest here, I should have some arcane ashes that's what i wanted to do arcane ashes already set down let's just put those i wasn't normally so, so organized as that so let's put the binding reagent down here like this and let's put into this the wood a stick now you'll see that you'll notice this firing lightning but it, i don't think it's lightning the reason I don't think it's lightning, I was reading the wiki. So we now have this bound stick. But what do we do with it? <laughs> well, it's got reasonable attack damage and reasonable attack speed, so it's a it's a fairly reasonable weapon. That's probably equivalent to a five attack damage. What's that equivalent to? A stone sword? Yes, it's equivalent to a stone sword from some st a false swipe. 
I don't know what it does. <laughs> I'll have to go and test it sometime. And I don't think it's got any uses. Uh, except for enchanting it. So obviously it is some form of weapon. Because I'm looking at those enchants. Okay. So let's put some of this stuff away. I don't need it at the moment. I've got those. Can't put any of that away in there. But I can put some of these bits over here like this. This is my second level uh, chest for doing more bits and pieces. So let's have a look at the next thing I wanted to do. The next thing I wanted to do was to do a sigil. We've got a sigil of swimming in here. Now a sigil of swimming is a um, reinforced slate. Again, that's tier two. A lot of this is tier two, isn't it? and a swimming reagent. Now a swimming reagent is a water reagent, which is standard blood magic, prismarine shard, a glass bottle and a fish of any kind, I think. And the water reagent is one you can, we've made before. Two buckets of water, sugar, I'll make a water reagent. Now I've got that prepared, I think. Um, I think that's in here. Yes, it is. So it was these four items in here and then we just put that into the hellfire forge by the way some of these get quite expensive We've got 10,000 will in here at the moment. i went to the end to get the, to get some mobs ground and that will make this reagent of swimming swimming reagent so now we have to i think i'll keep that with me just in case i forget to take it with do something with it as i tend to do as it happens so now we'll we'll take this and we'll turn this one into a sigil. I'm not sure which level. I think it's reinforced yet. Yeah, I've got these slates in there. Ah, oh, yes, I've got two in here. But I think I need those two slates. I'll tell you what, I'll take one of these out. We'll make the sigil. So we'll just put down the arcane ashes again. Reagent and sigil. And this time, oh, we've got an actual logo on this one. Now, this is actually a really cool sigil. It's definitely a really useful sigil. So let's just activate this. So it's now activated. And go swimming. And as you notice, if you're swimming, if I press F5, I think I'm actually swimming. Oh, no, I'm standing up. Let's press um, space. That's flying because of the... Um, elytra wings but we're actually swimming but you'll notice that my um, water bubbles don't go down so we're actually got there and it actually allows you to break things fairly quickly as if you're as if you've got an enchant on in fact I think I might have an enchant anyway because I've got <laughs> respiration three and aqua affinity aqua affinity uh, let's take the aqua affinity off and let's see if that works still it's a bit dark down here yeah, it's a bit slower, that one. But it's not too bad. Let's put my helmet back on again. And uh, go up. But you do go faster, I think, when you're doing this. Actually, that's... Uh, of course, because I'm... Because I'm flying. <laughs> right. Enough of this nonsense. Let's go back to base. Wherever it's gone to. Oh, there it is. In fact, what I should do, I think that's um, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's elytra stuff, but it's hard to it's hard to tell. In fact, actually, no, I can do that, can't I? Let's just take this off here. Press space and swim again. Yeah, so it is the elytra that's giving that effect. So that's a, so that's a pretty neat sigil. So the next one. There's also a really nice signal. Let's put this back on again because I'm going slowly when you're doing that. And I'm not used to going slowly. A uh, bit of a shock sometimes, actually, when you go slowly. So that's that one. So we can deactivate that. We're not swimming at the moment. Nice. I like it. The next one we can do is this one. Ender signal. So we need some ender reagent. So <laughs> ender reagent. Reasonably expensive. You've got to at least have uh, a gas tier, so you've got to be to the nether. I have ended not really big problem, and the chest not really big problem, and a teleportation signal. We've done that one already. Teleposition signal, which I call the same. <clears throat> Keep calling it the wrong thing, don't I? 
Let's get it out of here. I think this is this stuff in here. Now I've got too much stuff. I'll be back in a second with my air cleaned out inventory. So I've got some space now. So have a look. We want basically these things, these four things. And I guess it's a demonic slate. Did I bring myself with myself a demonic slate? Reinforced slate. Demonic slate. I think I need those, but I'm not 100% sure. I got a second one of those, so we'll put that back. Um, demonic slates. Where's it gone to? Oh, it's in this one. <laughs> See, it got too many, too much stuff here. So let's make one of these up. Now this is actually expensive in the wilderness, I think. What was the fourth thing? Can't remember. Oh, ender chest. Like that, and then will. Now this one is going to take quite a lot of will out of here. I think that was 1,000 will to do this one. Let's just have a look on here. 800 will. So it's a reasonable amount of will in for this particular one. But the, what the result of this one is, is awesome, as it happens. So now we can make this into a ender sigil. So what do we need? Yes, the demonic slate, good. So we need that and the demonic slate. Put it down like this. No logo for this one, but it doesn't matter. Because what you get is awesome. <laughs> so here we have a, an ender sigil. Now what this has got two modes. First mode, let's have a look at this chest here. You, you got an, we've got an ender chest here, but this one, if I sorry, if I right, right click it, I've got an ender chest, and it's exactly the same stuff in this ender chest as is in this ender chest, as you can see. The second mode is if you shift right click. So for example here, let's go and shift over here, right click to say over there, you teleport, just like that. And you'll see this, I've created another gate of the fold, and this one takes me straight to the endermen. So when I want to, when I, when I need a few ender pearls, I just come along here, stand on my little, little post up here, and look at the, look at an enderman like that. Get my, get my axe ready, and, oh, I've got two of them, okay. Because I've got my Ender Severance thing in. Yeah, I did. Fortunately, I made a mistake. I didn't pick. I didn't pick up the other thing. <laughs> I didn't pick up the Tartaric gem. <clears throat> Never mind. So we can then travel back over here. Shift right click. You have to actually look at a block. You can't do it without looking at a block. So that's that signal. Awesome one. So the next thing along this list here. There's quite a few bits and pieces. See, I got four ender pulls from that. That's a bit strange. You see, this demonic will didn't go into my Tartaric gem because I was a. I said I have to take it with me every time, and I always forget. But if I want to put it in, fortunately, you're only going to get. Oh, I've actually got two, two will, two in each time. That's not too bad. You put it down, you just pick it up, and then it goes into here, like that. So I've got no shortage of ender pulls as it happens at the moment. That one's full. <laughs> Three stats of ender pearls in there. This one's going to last me to put one in. Never mind. <laughs> I'll put. I'll find somewhere else to put these in temporarily, and that's full as well. Oh, actually, I can get rid of those. So. Like that. Just drop that on the floor. Normally it's one, but endermen I think give you two. So that's that one. Now next on the list of items to have a look at. Let's have a look at this. We've got this string here, burn st blood burn string, which is just ordinary string around the flint and steel. These all get used up, including the flint and steel, and that gives you these blood burn string. And the uses of those is you can make these pendants. And we're going to make two of these pendants. We're going to make these two, basically. This one is a petty a petty soul pendant, and that you can get put into your bauble slots. This one is an Amulet of Self-Sacrifice. I haven't played with this one yet. We'll find out what that does. But we need these things, first of all. We need a gem of... And this isn't exactly exactly cheap. <laughs> a gem of Tartaric Will is requires two petty Tartaric gems. Gold, glass, 
lapis. Um, orb, and I guess it has to be higher than, it has to be apprentice and higher. A wheat blood orb will do. A diamond and, and a redstone block. So I've actually got everything prepared for that. And it's a crafting ingredient. Now the question is, where did I put that lot here? So let's get that one crafted in. Like that. And this will, of course, store will. So if I put this one back into here like this, and then just go and get one of these bits of will in here. I'll try again. This has got one will in it. This has got no will in it at the moment. Let's just drop it down. It should pick it up. I like it did with the other one. Oh, it didn't in this case. I have to touch. To shift right click this first of all, I'm not sure. Maybe it doesn't work in the same way as the other one. No, it doesn't. So maybe I have to turn this into a, a uh, pendant first of all. So in here, have I got the string in here? Yes, I have got the string in here. So we need that. We'll also make at the same time, we'll make the gem of self sacrifice. So this is the two reinforced slates, uh, a sacrificial dagger and some glowstone uh, so we should have all of that in here i think this is it da, 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 and a sacrificial dagger which i put away oh, actually i put those in here so let's get that made up and then we can make these two orbs i don't think this will work as a as a sacrificial thing yet let's just try it let's check in here we've got 575 no it doesn't do anything so let's make these into the pendants and the thing so we should have this one so i can make it into an amulet of self-sacrifice and i can also do the um tartaric gen petty tartaric gen like this now so we've got those two. Now you see that that actually got nothing in it, and it tells you it's got no will in it. So let's just try dropping this on the floor again, and picking it up, and see what's happened. This time it's got one, so it is acting like a um, a tartaric. It's very expensive for what it is because it only holds sixty-four, I think. But we can put that in there. This one, I guess, is going to be acting like a. I'm not sure how this works. To be honest, let's just try it. Oh, I mean, this is self-sacrifice, and it swaps it over for the will one. How does that work? I wonder. Let's just get the... Maybe I've got an idea. This I haven't tried this, as you can see. Maybe if I go like this, like that, it puts this into here. Nope. <laughs> huh not waste not want not so it's obviously some form of saving the thing maybe this has to go into my bauble slots as well i can't imagine though i'll have to look it up sorry because it certainly doesn't it just swaps these two over and you can't put it in there because that's in the uh, amulet slot already as you can see so maybe that's what I'm not sure what we have to do with that yet. We'll find out. For the time being, I'm going to put this away. Because it is fairly painful. <laughs> As you can see, my hearts have gone down by six. So anyway, because every time you restart the game, you tend to use up all your food. So let's carry on with this. So we've done all of these here. Um, a single augmented holding. I'm not going to make it. The reason it gives you nine slots and the problem is not all of the signals will work in there so for example signal of magnetism when that's in the augmented holding just doesn't work at least from what i can see it doesn't work see, i'm just wondering what that was oh more grounding utilities uh, <clears throat> now the next signal signal along here is really a tough one because you need to have this lightning reagent. 
So what you have to do is place a water source block in, in the world and then drop binding reagent, a glowstone block, a block of gold, and we read this already, didn't I? So let's go and get these bits and pieces. Wrong chest, of course. Um, wrong chest, of course. Wrong ch Third time lucky. So a binding reagent. So let's just fill in my inventory. So when I put everything in here, let's just do it like this. So it just goes into these slots like this. So it needed binding reagent. Glowstone, gold, redstone, iron and gunpowder. Six items. Let's go over to the other side. And have a look at this. So we need a water source block. And you'll see now, of course, because I'm over here, I've got my ritual over here that's feeding me some nice. I'm nice and not hungry anymore. It's 88 is stomach one. Brilliant. I like that one. Here. So here I've got a pool of water. And underneath it, I've got a, an imperfect ritual stone. And here I've got a, a block of lapis lazuli and a imperfect ritual stone. Let's have a look at these when I actually do these two. So if we right click this, you'll see that got struck with what appears to be lightning. So I was going, oh, that'll be, that's how you do it. Can't think of another way of doing it. And it turns it to night time. And this one here is a pool of water over an imperfect ritual stone. Let's just stand back if I can reach that. Uh, maybe it would be easier to be one block below. Like that. And then we can right click this. And you'll see this also generates a thunderstorm. Now, if it's generating a thunderstorm, you'd expect that to work, wouldn't you? Because it's like it's a thunderstorm on here. For, let's try it. So let's put all of this stuff into here. So we've got the, the binding reagent, the glowstone, block of gold, block of redstone, block of iron, and a gunpowder. Let's see if we can hit it. See, the lightning certainly got hit here, but everything's still sitting there in, in here. And this is a thunderstorm. So basically, maybe we have to just, well, not basically, not basically about it. We have to wait. Maybe with a bit of luck, we'll get a bolt of lightning that actually hits this block. Now, it doesn't seem to be doing an awful lot at the moment. I don't see any lightning going around, but it does come. It just takes a few minutes sometimes but to demonstrate this because i really don't know how to get this to work otherwise in any other way um let's go and cheat one of these in and i've cheated one of these in already just to see if it actually would work so I'll, over the other side i'll just go and get it and come back in a second so here is a sigil of lightning you right click that on there like that And nothing happened. Well, that's interesting. Let's just try this in the ground here like that. Because I did this and it did work. So I need to put into here um, the items. Binding reagent. Block of gold, block of redstone, block of gold, block of lapis, block of iron. That, everything's in there, it's not falling out the outside of it. So I'll just get my sigil with um, water, my water sigil. Put a block of water on that, like that. And then, we can hit this with lightning like this. And sure enough, that hurt, <laughs> as it's supposed to do. And it did actually work, because that is real lightning. So. I ain't sure how you're going to get that real lightning. So you've got our lightning reagent now. I actually got two because I wanted to test it with it. Oh, that's my divinity reagent, sorry. So you got lightning reagent. But I've got to find a way to actually do that in a in a manner that you can actually repeat. Um, I don't think it exists in blood magic. I think it's just a luck thing. Now, the, divin the single of divinity... Uh, div Divinity reagent. So we'll look at the recipe for this. It's uh, pretty hard to get. <laughs> 16 other stars, no big deal. 32 lightning reagents. Well, I could do that if 
we could get the light if we could get the, a lightning signal then that would be no problem four golden notch apples enchanted apples they are different than the other ones uh, and a crystal block a crystal cluster and a crystal cluster lots of diamonds no big deal art mage blood orb no big deal lapis blocks and two awakened crystals but just, just more um nether stars i've got enough nether stars so that would be another three nether stars in this block of emeralds block of lapis could do that no big deal um <clears throat> so that's how that works but to get that uh, it's going to take a long time to find any notch apples i've been hunting around haven't found any yet so that's it for this episode I'm going to go out in the thunderstorm. It's not really happening. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.